Good morning and welcome back to another video and today is another day of the zero to gold cap challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today I wanted to get back on track when it came to inscription. I was looking on the Undermine Journal the other day and basically was helping out one of my subs on the Discord and then I double checked my one as I was doing his server as well. And I see that there's an influx on inscription at the moment. So what I'm going to be doing is capitalizing on that fact. Now, what I've been doing now is I've seen an increase on the sales of glyphs. So what I've spent this morning doing is crafting all of my glyphs using my TSM groups. Now, for those who don't know, I made a thing called Raid Night Crafted in one of my groups. And one of the subgroups is called All Raid Glyphs. And this is basically crafting every glyph I have. And pretty much I've done that. I've pretty much gone into my inscription and gone into my groups and pressed restock my glyphs. Now I will be doing this with the other ones like the Tomes of Tranquil Mind, Tomes of Quiet Mind, and a couple more glyphs as well that I've actually already sold and all that jazz. So that's pretty damn good. Now the other things that I would say that I intend on doing is doubling down on pretty much all of the inscription stuff as well as the trinkets. Now the trinkets are kind of tricky and what I would do is I will go into my crafting reports, go into materials and I need to value the expulsum. So with expulsum it's pretty dead simple. We need to know how much gold there is. So we find expulsum in the materials, we click on it as we did for the roseate pigments a while back if you remember. If not then we're going to run for it quickly now. If we go into here, we find that there's a string that you can edit. Now, this string I'm gonna post in the description that is for the expulsum. You basically just click on the, your expulsums one and then all you do then is just paste it in and just replace it. And it will give you a value based upon the drop chance of the expulsum being ex destroyed from the scrapper. Now this can be through your tie spray braces, this can be done through your blacksmithing ones, and it's basically an overall one in order to work out how much expulsum you're gonna get, how much expulsum is worth, so then you can see what your trinkets are gonna be like, because the trinkets at the moment are selling incredibly well, and pretty much they're at like 0 0.14, 0 0.18, the 0 0.2, 0 0.26, and all that jazz. So it's pretty damn profitable to make these highborn compendiums. Now these ones can be learned from Najatar and pretty much it's like 1,300 gold profit on that, 4,600 gold profit on it. These tr trinkets are selling pretty damn sharpish so I'm definitely going to be scrapping a load of expulsum today and that's pretty much gonna be comprised of what I'm gonna be doing. Now, I am running through my executive assistant on my daily crafts, such with alchemy, and this is more or less a video talking about how we're going to be doing stuff going forward. As we can see that the drop, if we go into worth it, so we can close that down quickly, the price of Xenanthid has gone down to like 10,000 gold per hour for that farm, and at the moment it's worth 21 gold for one Xenanthid. So that being the case, is it worth doing? Yes, it most definitely is. So I have crafted a load of maroon ink. I am going to definitely be going into all of that. And it's cost me around about 150,000 gold for all of these materials. Now, these veridescent inks and, on, and if we go into my bank just now, we ha still have a load of inks left over from one of our flips a while back, which is a load of iridescent ink, a load of ultramarine ink, and crimson pigments. So moving in from this, we do have a lot of bloody ink, is what I'm going to say. Basically, it's all pigments, so it's going to take me quite a while to turn all of these into pigments, because we've got like 1,000, 2.9Ks worth of crimson pigment, and we've also got 8.5K of ultramarine pigment along with 1.2 of iridescence. So basically this guy's gonna be crafting inks all day so we can double down on this moving forward. The other things of note that I must say that I have done this morning is I went into Worth It 
and I went into my flippings. Now, going into my flippings, I actually did do a frozen orb. One, because it seems to be quite profitable. For a stack of 200 of Eternal Fire, I can make an 8,172 gold profit, along with a 6,400 gold profit on the Eternal Life for how much I invest in the Frozen Orb Flip. So what I've done is I've done 200 of each of the Fire and Life, and also I double check the flippings on milling. So this is where I actually bought a load of Dream Leaf as well. Um, pretty much the Dream Leaf profit is about 738 gold for a stack of 200, and I bought quite a fair bit of this because we have quite a lot of roseate pigment and also sallow pigment. Now, if you don't remember, the sallow pigment is definitely going to be quite worthwhile. So we're not actually going to be selling this. This is all future investments. So obviously we dropped down from getting near to our million because we're going to be starting a little method in order to make crafted stuff. We're definitely gonna be focusing on the stuff that is selling at the moment, instead of doing an all round crafting thing. So if, so if you were watching me like about a month ago, we were doing crafted everything, and that seems to be quite slow. What I intend to do now is sift through that, and whatever was selling really, really frequently, we're gonna double down on, and see if we can start pulling in more profit, if we can keep the restocks on a daily. So my idea is I'm gonna craft five of every glyph and every day we'll double check and recraft using our roseate pigments and our other inks from BFA. The other different inks, you can use the roseate pigments because it's the min buyout for it is about eight gold and we can get it for a little bit cheaper. We can then use that to buy things like Midnight Ink, which is 18 gold, or the Jade Fire Ink, which is the Jade Fire Ink, which is 24 gold. So you can see that we can make more gold overall through this. That is the plan moving forward. We're just going to be focusing on inscription for the next couple of days, along with our standardized farms. So we'll be still doing our material farms, but every day we'll be doing a quick restock in order to keep on top of our flow of stuff that we're going to be getting in. So hopefully with this altered method, so I've finished going over all of the other different parts, I will most definitely be having that as, an, as a daily thing on my executive system because I've noticed that I've kind of slacked when it came to my daily stuff, such as my Anqui flip, which is very, very profitable because at the end, because at the end of the day, it's only gonna cost you like a few gold in order to do. And for Anchorweed, so for things like Anchorweed, we can then set that up. It's still 56 gold and we can make it for cheaper with all of our alchemists. So it's most definitely something we need to be doing on a daily. And I need to start implementing that once again, because obviously I've been so focused on the farming, I've slacked on the crafting, so to speak. So moving forward, we're definitely going to before I start any farming for the day, I'm going to make sure that I do my restocks and my repostings before I do any of my farming. Should hopefully see an increase in the amount of turnover or cash flow or gold coming in, whatever term you wanna really use. And that means that we can start increasing the amount of gold moving forward with a slight investment. Now, this will take a little bit of time to actually get our, to get see our returns from this, but we can then supplement that with our material farming as well. So then when we start picking up and then making profits, we can then see a in bigger increase than just material farming as well. So we're doing a bit of both worlds and using our material farms. So we're utilizing both aspects. So the best of both worlds. For, so that being the case, that is basically what I'm gonna be doing for the day. I've also planned out that I'm gonna be overhauling all of my characters because they've got 10 ton of junk left over from 
loads of different things that we've been doing for like the past few months and I want to make sure that we sell that on if we're not using it. So all being well we're going to be altering my TSM groups and then once I have finished that that will be tomorrow's update moving forward with the entire new setup of our gold making routine and then once I've actually finished the TSM groups I will be posting them on the discord on the announcements page once I am thoroughly happy with the setup moving forward. Now aside from all of that, let's get into the gold for the day. Now the gold for the day is going to be kind of less obviously because it's quite early in the morning and we only reposted like uh, really late last night and we've sold about 10,115 golds worth of stuff. The things that we've actually sold is the Reigns of Poseidus for 8,873 gold along with the pattern, the Carapace of the Sun and Shadow. So these patterns will sell, they just will take a while to sell. That's I think that's the one that we got from Sunwell. So that's not bad for running a bit of Sunwell. And then we also sold 100 Storm Vine which is a item that you do get with the Azjara's Veil Farm. So 10,000 gold for the day, we should hopefully see higher returns tomorrow. And with our current investment, we are back to 848,981 gold. The things moving forward are most definitely material farms and getting our priorities in order with our TSM groups and what we plan on doing for daily stuff. So that being the case guys, that is basically what I'm going to be doing for the day. Just setting ourselves up, re-prepping, re-adjusting ourselves and then using that as a standard daily gold routine. Now, other than that, I have thought about different types of things moving forward from yesterday. Thank you for the constructive criticism on on yesterday's YouTube video because that some of the stuff was really helpful when it came to getting started with battle pets as I am quite not well adept with it. I'm good at farming them, um, not so good in prepping them for sale, such as getting them to 25 and all that stuff. Um, I'm gonna have to read into Squirt Day and find Find out how I can level it to level 25 pretty damn sharpish. So that being the case guys, have a lovely rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be tomorrow.